everybody, a Simply Sailing family coming back at you. Uh, I'm Sarah, if you've been following along with us, that's awesome. I did want to give a little heads up, I kind of lied on the last video. Honestly, it's because after the last month or so, I finally had had enough. I couldn't stand staring at the walls anymore. So, today's project, I actually kind of already started yesterday. So we got the first wall painted, which looks much better. Everything's still covered in my drop cloth right now. Um, we also have the next wall covered. So I was really trying to get rid of that kind of grossness back there. Because there was a bunch of unfinished um, seam blending that had started, but nobody had actually finished it. Uh, I figured I'd just go ahead and paint it. That way it was a lot prettier to look at. So... You know, give me some thoughts. Uh, we're starting to decide if we actually want to put any designing on the walls because that's a lot of white. <laughs> we may end up digging out our art portfolios and just start putting posters up that we've created just to kind of make things a little bit nicer. So <laughs> I did want to give you guys at least a quick little walkthrough just because I know that I haven't been able to do a whole lot of videos um, with uh, Eric's schedule and then because the person that has the uh, monohole that we're looking at they've actually been on vacation so we haven't been able to get back over there they're, there's still a lot of scrap metal that we're cleaning up and getting everything kind of picked up moved out of there so that not only because we want to make sure that the monohole is more accessible but we're also helping them since they're moving um, as kind of part of our trade-off um, we ended up having a lot of yellow jackets which was fun and I think for the next time I'm out there I will try to kind of give you guys a little bit of a a quick video just to walk around it real quick and, and show you what we've done so far over there. I kind of have a slow paced project and it's little chunks here and there and I'm not going to be real regular on my every two weeks to post a video like I was hoping until the project's actually underway. So at least in the meantime this gives you a lot of kind of back door information on what's going on. I'm going to get back to painting because as you can see I still got a couple more walls to go. Other than that I hope you guys are having an awesome week. And you know what? Oh, I almost forgot because pretty much everything's going to be done on the boat once we get it in here. So this is something else that we did. So at least now Papa has his garage back and somewhere to work. I am going to get back to painting. Okay. This is a walkthrough of what we're working on. As you can see, the 60 footer is back here in the back. Hola. <laughs> and this is what we are working on getting unburied so that we can get to it a little bit better. <clears throat> We already cleared all this out since we've been here and it only took us about an hour to get this far so it shouldn't take too much longer for us to be able to get a lot of this out of the way. It's big. That's a lot of the bulkhead that's been cut out. There's a lot of the rigging here. There's a mast laying there. Now the mast we're going to have to completely rebuild because it's completely rotted through. But it does have its hardware. So we will probably be cutting that down into segments so we can get it home. And then we're going to take overall measurements of it laid back out. But that way you can get a better idea from the ground level what we're looking at. So you can see by some of the markings as we walk our way There's down that it right has there. been ultrasounded before. Some of the rivets that'll have to be fixed. I can see the spinnaker pole. You can see the spinnaker pole. <laughs> 
you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel.